Is your small business open to the public? Background music can be a great way to increase revenue, decrease perceived wait time, and provide guests a great experience. If you're not using the right streaming service though, you could run into legal trouble. In this video, we will explain how to set up a background music system for your small business that is completely legal in less than an hour, all by yourself. Hi, I'm David with Aero AV Group. Before we get to the how-to, let's talk about the but why. Whether out of lack of knowledge or lack of budget, small business owners often use their personal streaming services like Spotify, Apple Music, or Pandora to play background music in their business. Now, this is where the legal trouble can arise. The keywords here are personal and public. If you're like me, you probably didn't read the terms and conditions. I mean, unless you're a lawyer, who does? If you do read the fine print though, you'll see the personal subscription only covers copyright for recreational use, not in a for-profit environment. Here's an example from Spotify. By playing the personal service in your business space, you are violating the terms and conditions. And if reported to one of the three major performing rights organizations, BMI, ASCAP, or CSAC, your business could get blindsided with a hefty fee for copyright infringement. Yikes. The good news is the same streaming services you enjoy privately have subscription options for businesses. Although a higher investment per month, one, you're legally protected, and two, you're doing the right thing to compensate musical artists you love for their hard work. Now that we've covered the legal stuff, let's get into the practical tips for setting up a background music system for your small business. No, you don't need to be a tech wizard or a general contractor to set them up. If you know how to use a smartphone, you can do it all by yourself thanks to well-designed apps. If you need help deciding the streaming service or smart speakers to choose, check the link in the description to read our list. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is order our smart speaker. Then, while we wait for that to arrive, we're going to sign up for our music streaming service of choice, download the app for both the service and the speaker, and hopefully your postal service is just as fast as mine. Next, we're going to unbox the speaker and everything that comes with it. So just reach in, pull out your speaker, as simple as that. Make sure you get all the cords and cables and all the guides that come with it. If the cable's hard to pull out, just put your back into it. And lastly, we're going to reach down to the bottom of the box, pull out the most important thing that comes with absolutely every speaker, a stopwatch. You know what? This is actually pretty good. We can use this to show just how long it takes to connect the speaker and the streaming service. So next, we'll go over to our speaker and connect up the power cable to it. Then we're going to want to find a good spot for the speaker, someplace up high on a counter or a shelf out of customer's way, but you do have to power the speaker still. Don't have that wireless yet. But next, you'll pull out your phone. We'll start in the speaker app. Um, make sure that you're connected to the same Wi-Fi as the one in the room. Uh, if it's password protected, you might need to go through some extra steps but make sure your speaker is also powered on. And once you do get connected to the Wi-Fi, this app at least lets you try and connect to an Alexa within it, but we're not gonna set that up. We don't want any customers or guests messing with the background music. So we're gonna click into our settings for the speaker and label it Lobby. Next, we'll move over to our streaming service app. We're using Soundtrack Your Business because it does have a 14-day free trial. This one's created by Spotify, so you might see some similarities. This playlist looks good. Sounds of today. So we're going to hit play. Then my fat finger's in the way, but we're going to tap the cast button. We're going to airplay, let it load, find our speaker, lobby, let it load some more. And our music should be playing at this point, but I'm gonna back out, go into the speaker app and turn up the volume. Normally you'd hear music at this point, but we don't have the copyright for broadcasts, so here's some royalty-free music. And let's see how long that took us. Just under two minutes. That's not too bad for a busy business owner. Let's wrap this up back at the table. 
So there you have it. With simple setup, you can easily enhance the guest experience in your business space while avoiding legal trouble and supporting artists. If this was helpful to you, please like and subscribe for more commercial audiovisual content. And if your business is growing and you need greater capabilities than what these smart speakers can offer, such as live paging, send us a message or comment below to set up a free consultation with one of our audiovisual experts. Thanks for watching.